Hello everyone, this is Said. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, one of the uh, most popular curry in the UK, uh, chicken balti. But um, today the way I'm going to make it, uh, this is actually what I mean how I learned it. I know um, nowadays the original balti, I mean, um, you won't find, it's very rare. I mean, you won't find the original um, balti at the recipe. So today uh, I'm using a aluminium pan here, the Russian pans, as you can see. A very new also guys before I start it guys uh, maybe a lot of people will disagree I mean how I'm, I'm doing it um, the balti as I said it's actually uh, it's not like chicken tikka masala or korma um, that you will find I mean similarity but you know balti I, mean, I saw a lot of restaurants making different different ways um, to be honest so today the one I'm gonna make you guys um, I'm gonna use fresh chicken uh, two portion of chicken I, I got here, but I'm gonna use a fresh chicken and also I'm not going to use any base gravy I'm gonna use uh, water um, and also the uh, portion I'm gonna make today two to three people guys because I got two portion of chicken here about 16 piece or 19 piece probably the spice I'm gonna the the Spice I'm gonna add obviously it's gonna be for two to three people um, serving, you know so you have to be, I mean, uh, thing is, I'm going to uh, write the written I mean, recipes very soon on all, all of my recipes. So I'll put all of the things in detail. So let's start guys. I'm sorry, I'm taking a bit of time. So first I'm going to add um, about three tablespoons, sorry, uh, three chef spoon of cooking herb. I'm not going to add any... Um, Ghee. First, I'm going to fry these um, onions, um, as you can see, for my balti. Uh, a bit thicker, guys. Not, I mean, you know, the, not, as you can see, not too thin, not too thick. Um, I'm going to fry these onions and to the well. Then, once the onion and paper be uh, fried and I'm going to remove them from the oil This uh, fried onion and paper, guys, I'm gonna add it later uh, after I put all the I mean, spices, chicken, and everything. Then I'm going to add it. Uh, you can add any vegetables as well, guys, if you want um, potato or aubergine, you can add it into your balti as well. If you want. There's a lot of people I saw uh, they add uh, vegetables into the balti, but I'm adding only peppers and um, onions. Uh, Right, I'm going to remove them from the well now. Once it's a bit brown, you can remove them. And as you can see, I'm going to keep it aside. Right, now I'm going to add uh, one more uh, spoon of oil. Then I'm going to add some garlic ginger paste, guys. Um, as you can see, that's some my uh, homemade uh, garlic ginger paste. I got a video recipe for this garlic ginger paste on my channel. You can have a look. Uh, a bit less than one tablespoon. Then I'm going to add some whole gram masala. Two bay leaves, two cinnamon sticks, and two black paper, all the black paper, and two cardamom. Now I'm going to add the onion. I go here one. Um, I go here one. Uh, medium size uh, chopped onion guys finely chopped the onion has to be finely chopped guys uh, otherwise uh, it's gonna take long to cook it basically that I'm 
If the onion is small size, guys, just add one and a half. Now I'm going to add some salt. The salt will help the onion to caramelize and uh, soften quicker. I'm going to add about a half uh, half teaspoon of salt. I'm using one quarter teaspoon here. So I'm going to add twice. Obviously, if you use uh, base gravy, guys, then uh, the, uh, you add, you're gonna add less salt. And if you add also pre-cooked chicken, um, then you add less salt. But obviously, here I'm not using um, uh, pre-cooked chicken. I'm using fresh chicken and water. That's why I'm gonna add uh, salt. So you add just so uh, the salt, guys. Uh, so taste. So, I mean, how much you want, so guys? I'm I'm gonna wait. Till my onions to be softened so I'm going to use a leaf now on slow heat guys um, cook the onion and if, if you put a high heat guys then you have to add a little bit of water I will uh, I'm going to add a little bit of water but not now uh, let's caramelize the onion first onto this then I'll add a little bit of water later also stir it occasionally guys otherwise the the onion might get I mean get burned so you have to I mean careful if there I mean there's not much oil or water I mean then you have to add a little bit of water let's check it guys look guys um, I got enough oil that's why it's not, I mean, burning. Um, slow heat. I, I can, I, I can cook the onion uh, nicely. So if you know, sometimes what, why does it get? I mean, it's get burned because there's not enough oil uh, in onion pan. That's why uh, sometimes it get burned. And if it's burned, guys, I mean, the curry t taste doesn't. I mean, it doesn't taste nice. So you have to be very careful. You can't, you can't burn it. Some people what they do here, yeah, they say, oh, I'm caramelizing the uh, onions, you will taste nice, you know, but it's not right. If you burn the onions here, yeah, I mean, you burning the, I mean, the, on, the, the sauce. So that's why you have to be, you have to be very careful uh, when you, when you cook the onion, uh, without the water, I mean, adding water. Um, it, it's, it can't be, it can't be, I mean, it can't get, burnt, I mean, burned. You have to be very careful, guys. So let's wait about more what, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Then I'll add a little bit of water. But if you add water before, before I mean, before the onion gets softened, then this water will, I mean, this water is not going to help the onion. It will help the onion to, I mean, to get softened, but. It takes so much, so much time. Also, um, you will see there's, I mean, it, it gets, it's not getting separated the oil from the onion, from the, um, from the water. It will take so much time, guys. So that's why you have to, what the, the best trick is here, um, soften the onion without the water, just into the oil. Try to soften the onion. If you cook any curry, it's not all just, I mean, not balti. You cook a chicken buna or Chicken jalfrezi, chicken jalfrezi with the, I mean, uh, not with the pre-cooked chicken, with the fresh chicken. Whenever you cook fresh chicken, guys, make sure you soften the onion before you add any spices, tomato puree, or anything. This is very important. You can't just any anyone can cook, but trust me, it's the quality is the quite I mean, very important. When you cook anything, any curries, it's very important. You don't burn the onions. You don't burn the spices, garlics, or anything. All right, look. Now, guys, as you can see, uh, look at this. It's it is caramel. It is caramelizing, and also there's no burn. There's no burn sound. You can see look, nothing. It hasn't burned. It's just caramelizing properly, perfectly. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of water now. Now I'm going to add, guys, one third cup of water as you can see 80 ml now 
Now my onion was softened about 60, 60-70%. By adding this water now, it's gonna help the onion, I mean, to cook and to soften the onion and properly 100%. So I'll, I'm gonna close, close the lid and I'm going to cook it on low heat for about more one minute. Right guys, let's check. After one minute, you can see the water is already dried. Now, as you can see, my onions are actually about 90% done, softened. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, sorry for the bad lighting guys. Uh, Now I'm going to add. Uh, now I'm going to add the tomato puree uh, first. Guys, bulk tea is obviously is I mean it's a mostly tomato tomato based um, curry. Uh, it's it's a bit a little bit of tangy, so that's why I'm going to uh, what I did actually here. You know the tomato paste. You know the uh, tomato paste you can buy from any supermarkets, the tube ones or anything, any uh, jar ones as well. What you can do, uh, what I did actually here, yeah, um, I added about one uh, table, sorry, uh, one and a half tablespoon of tomato paste and added warm water for about um, one third, one third cup of uh, warm water. So I'm going to add about half spoon, okay, let's do a tablespoon, it will be easier guys for you. Um, I'm going to add one, two, three, Let's see how the thing is going to be. Okay, I will add only three tablespoons, guys. Um, the reason is uh, I go a paste, multi paste, um, which normally most of the restaurants they use. Uh, if I hadn't got, I mean, if I had no, if I haven't got that multi paste, guys, then I would have add more um, three tablespoon of tomato puree. Now I'm going to cook the tomato puree guys on slow heat, on low heat, sorry, um, for a bit. And by the time, let me show you guys, this is this Balti uh, spice paste guys. Um, you can buy from any supermarket or anywhere. This is actually guys, um, you know, most of the restaurant they use it. That's why I'm telling you guys, uh, I'm gonna add it as well today. So you can get the taste, I mean, if, I mean, but otherwise, you can cook without this one, yeah, it'll be extra tomato, uh, tomato puree. Um, you can do that, I mean, if you don't want to add this paste. This is optional, guys. But I will add because I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm making the BRI style, obviously with the British Russian Indian Russian style. But that's what I'm adding. Okay, let's do, let's add the spices, guys, now. I'm going to add my mixed curry powder, guys, my special uh, curry powder recipe. No, sorry, uh, mixed curry powder. I got the recipe video on my channel. Uh, you can have a look. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of um, mixed curry powder, guys. I'm adding one tablespoon. The reason is because um, I'm, I'm using pre-cooked, not sorry. I'm using fresh chicken. I'm not using uh, the pre-cooked chicken. Also, I'm not adding any gravy. Normally, you see um, uh, on my on my recipe, my recipes, guys. My curries are. I don't add much uh, curry powder. Because the, my gravy has got the spice, my chicken has got or lamb's got the spice, so I'm not. I don't add any any much more. I mean, too much spice. Uh, the heat, guys. Uh, the I mean, chili powder. Actually, pap I'm using here uh, paprika powder, one teaspoon. But if you want to make it Madras hot, Bindalu hot, just I mean, this is open option for you guys. Uh, you add. I mean, how much you heat you want. Um, this is going to be the same similar process. Just add, I mean, Madras or to Bindaloo or to Pal hot if you want. I'm adding one quarter teaspoon of garam masala. As you can see, I'm frying the spice. I didn't add any water yet. I'm going to add water later. But first, I'm going to uh, add all the spices. I already added um, mixed powder, uh, chili powder, garam masala. Now I'm going to cook for 10-15 seconds. My spice is getting cooked. Then I'm going to add the chicken. Uh, 
then I'll cook the chicken on the, on the, on the into the spice. I'm not adding any water yet. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to cook the chicken into the spice. Now I'm going to add this add chicken. Then I'm going to add the balti paste, guys. Balti paste. I'm going to use one uh, one teaspoon. You can add some little bit of oil as well. As you can see, guys, I haven't added. I mean, I, I didn't add any water yet. I'm only cooking onto onto my spice, and the chicken will release a lot of water as well. So I'm gonna, uh, I will add water later for the gravy. Um, now I'm going to add one teaspoon of fenugreek leaves. Kasuri methi. And as as you as you can see, I'm actually cooking on low heat. But if you want to quick be quicker, then you can uh, put some heat bit up. But I'm actually trying to cook my. I'm trying to actually cook coat the spices into my chicken. Uh, so low heat is better because otherwise it's gonna burn. I mean, it might get burned. And also, I'm going to add some green chilies, guys. This is optional; it's up to you. If you don't like having I mean, green chilies, guys, then you can skip it. And also, I'm going to add tomato, sliced tomato. And I'm going to add some. Spring onion. This is optional as well, guys. If you don't like or don't have, uh, you don't have to. Add it. I mean, it's, it's totally optional. Now I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of butter, ghee, guys. Butter ghee. Actually, I'm using uh, Katsi. But you can use any any other any other brand, guys. If you want, if you want. Add about one teaspoon of <laughs> guys. This is very important, bit. You have to you know. The, look at that. I'm caramelizing the um, spices with the chicken. And into the oil and ghee. So this is this is a very important bit. You can just you know it's no point to add spices, water, everything, put it and put the fat heat up and cook it and you know it's, it's this is not this is not how you should make the curry, guys. This the curry important the, the main important bit is actually cooking the spices uh, right time and on and this, uh, this is very important. Now I'm going to add my onions and paper. Add some coriander. Now, you know when you're gonna add the water, guys. Uh, make sure it's warm or boiled water from the uh, kettle. Look at that guys, as you can see no nothing burnt, it's caramelized everything but everything on the spice as you can see. You don't see any burning sounds guys, but cooking perfectly. Now guys I'm going to add water, I got one kettle water here. I'm using in one cup. So let's see how much water I can add. So first I'm going to add one cup. Let's see how one cups. Uh, I'm gonna put the heat bit up, bit high, medium. Now I'm going to give it a stir, mix it well. 
the water. Now guys, I added one cup of water here. I think it would be better if I add half cup more. But it's up to you if you want, um, if you don't want much gravy into your poultry then you can just skip. I mean you can just one cup add it, I mean add one cup only. I'm going to cook on high heat for about one minute, then I'll be back. Right guys, I came after two minutes, or one minute, two minutes after. Uh, I'm gonna check it now. This guy's half a bit, as you can see. It's almost done, guys, because the chicken is boneless um, and it already cooked. I add a little bit of coriander more. Almost done, guys. Uh, just need to. I'm gonna transfer it to one of my uh, serving bowl. The salt is perfect, guys. The salt is perfect. Everything perfect. I see, guys. My curry is done. The bulk tea. You see, if you want a bit more thinner, you can have a bit of water if you want. But the consistency of this sauce, guys, is perfect. Don't need to, I mean, add any more water. And you know the fried onion, guys, uh, if you don't like the fried onion in your balti, you can just skip skip it. As I say, it, guys, uh, balti can be made, I mean, different, different ways people make. So this is up to you, guys. Uh, the way I just made it today, guys, it's uh, similar to why I used to make uh, for my customers. Um, that's it, guys. And also, um, if you if you like it, guys, please subscribe and like and comment. And if you uh, if you think it's a it's a useful tip, guys, you can share with your friends and families. Um, that's it. So I'm going. Let's transfer it to on my serving bowl. Transfer to my dish. I don't have to put the balti dish, guys. <laughs> so I'm, um, I'm going to transfer to one of my curry, normal curry dish. So see, guys, this is my this is balti. The chicken, normal chicken balti without base gravy. And on fresh chicken, guys. No, I mean not the pre-cooked chicken. Guys, the maybe a lot of people will get confused. I mean, it looks like jollofrazy, but never confuse, guys, because um, the spices, the flavor is totally different. It's a bit tangy, as I said. Um, I added more tomato puree, normal, no, normal than um, jollofrazy. And also, um, it's got more uh, different spices, like different texture as well. I see, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hope to see you guys soon. Bye bye.